homeboy comes by in his car and they say, hey, man, get in. Let's go somewhere. Go somewhere and do what? Remember what I said earlier. All problems are solved through the process of questions and answers. So you ask that question. Go somewhere and do what? Well, you know, we're just chilling, man. Okay, it's six of you all in a car. Four of you got guns. You want me to get in the car to go somewhere and chill. Well, this, fellas, your buddies of mine, does not look like it may have a constructive result. This looks like some type of recipe for everybody, meaning basically us, all of us, feeling sorry for what's going to happen if I go somewhere in this car with you. So, I tell you what, we're still buddies, but call me tomorrow after all this is over, if you all are still around. I'll see you. Now, they will argue. They will say, oh, man, I mean, you you too square, you too uptight, you this, that. No, 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 no. I have to have a prescription that sounds like it's going to be constructive, fellas. I sound, it has to sound, at least sound like it's going to be constructive. It doesn't sound like it's going to, you know, be anything constructive. It sounds like something I might be sorry about. And I won't have nobody to talk to about being sorry, you know. And if I do talk to you all about it being sorry, I mean, you all will be in a sorry situation, I think. I don't think you're going to be in a real happy situation. So, you know, I'll talk to you later, you know. It's not that I'm breaking off with you or anything like that. I'll just talk to you later. Now, the reason I say all of this and I laid out that type of scenario, I've seen that happen. I've seen somebody actually do that. And the person that didn't go was the person that all the rest of the people who was in that car were trying to get in contact with after everything that happened happened. Trying to get that one person that didn't go to come and help them. Why? Because that's the person that didn't go and got involved in the mess. That's why. See, it's one of the best things you can say when it looks like you're headed for trouble or people that you're around are headed for trouble. You want to be able to say, I wasn't in that because I wasn't there. That's one of the best things you can say on a stand in a court when you are asked, well, then what did you do? And you say, I didn't do anything because I wasn't there. I was not present at the scene of all those things that happened. I was not present. Oh, then most likely the judge say, you weren't there? You weren't present? Say, no, Your Honor, I was not present. And the judge say, well, what are you doing in here? Say, that's what I'd like to know, Your Honor. Say, you're dismissed. You weren't there. Don't be where there's likely to be some non-constructive activity going on. That's a part of the code. Always be the person that leaves early before the mess begins. Always. That's code. If you do not understand white supremacy, which is racism, what it is and how it works, everything else that you understand will only confuse you. Only confuse you. Only confuse you. Now, some people have said they've seen some cartoons of my work uh, on the Internet that have been presented and that uh, it pretty well embellishes what I have been trying to say in my textbooks. And uh, to the extent that it does that, well, that has been, from what I understand, some people reported to me a plus because they didn't understand what I had written very well. But when they saw those cartoons that just repeated what I was saying and attaching my name to it, and uh, came right out of the book, the material did, uh, they say that they better understood it. And I can understand that because people are kind of visual 
particularly in the year 2021 now, uh, more visual than ever. 